All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to back to back. <laughs> welcome back to 16 bit winter. Uh, it is finally time to do some 16 bit games, the celebration I've been doing for years. And uh, I'm very excited this year because I've decided that I'm going to be playing another remake of a classic. I'm going to be playing Dragon Quest. Never played through Dragon Quest. Um, I heard the first one is kind of grindy, but it's also kind of short, which is good for me because you know me, RPGs. <laughs> I've beaten one Final Fantasy game and it's missed a quest. So um, I think I'm ready for Dragon Quest. So let's not delay any further. Let's get started. I don't button ahead. <laughs> oh, that looks so cool. I own Dragon Warrior on NES, but I recently got uh, Anime North. I got a rebuild cart of Dragon Quest One and Two, and I actually own Dragon Quest Three for SNES. But it's uh, it's Japanese only. This is a translated repo cart. Um, but yeah, Dragon Quest. It's a classic. I've never played through it. I'm gonna have the opportunity to do so now, as we let the intro play through. But uh, yeah, um, this first episode is gonna be a little grindy, um, as some people know that the game starts off still pretty grindy. Uh, but anyways, let's do our message speed. Fucker, okay, that's the character that I made, oops. Um, begin a new adventure, adventure log two. What should we call my hero? Um, uh, let's see. Um, <laughs> I didn't even think this through. What I should call my 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 character? Um, oh, you know what? Uh, there was somebody who recently did uh, recently um, the Mega Man Battle Network 4.5 uh, translation came out which was a special edition released in Japan only. And somebody did like a playthrough, I think they said of my butt or something. So I know I've done your fine ass, but that was just a nickname. So, um, Ooh, don't want, don't want to double tap that. I, it's funny. I'm playing this through my super retro trio plus HD and I'm using a retro duo SNES controller. Cause I don't know what it is, but I love this controller. It's complete garbage. But it feels right to me. Um. Anyways. Oh, oh. That's not a space. Okay. Is Oh, space is its own thing. I'm just gonna call the character... My ass. Sure, why not. Message speed. Um, we're gonna want this shit at probably... Uh, oh, okay, we don't want slow, we want fast. Let's put it at... Let's put it at two to start. Ah, oh, my ah, oh, my ass! <laughs> Descended to the legendary warrior Roto. Okay, so this one doesn't have the dragon warrior text. It has the dragon quest translation text. For those of you who don't know, this original translation has two translations. There's the uh, one that uses the dragon warrior text, which is this. Uh, Victorian style um, English, British English, and then there's one that's basically like a more normalized translation, which is the one that I guess I've got here because they in they they they're referred to I refer to them as the Erdrich and Roto uh, Roto translations. Um, the Erdrich translation is the one that's from the one from Nintendo of America back in the day for Dragon Warrior that's used Victorian British. Uh, and then there's this one, which is a direct translation, which was done by fans, so... <laughs> just love that. Oh, my ass! That paid off right away. Descendant of the legendary warrior Roto. We've been awaiting your arrival. Long ago, the legendary warrior Roto was given 
The Ball of Light by the Gods. Ball of Light, eh? With its powers, he defeated the demon... Oh, excuse me. The demons that had covered this world. Then the evil King Dragon appeared. He stole the Ball of Light and sealed it away in darkness. Before long, this world may be totally enveloped... Oh my god. Stop yawning, man. Totally enveloped and destroyed by this darkness. Hero, my ass. <laughs> oh god, I'm 12. Uh, please defeat King Dragon and return the Ball of Light by any means possible. I'll give you a ball light. If you open the treasure chest over there, the content should aid you in your journey. Also, if you speak to the soldiers in this room, they can give you important information about your journey. Well then, best be off, hero my ass. <laughs> well, first off, that's very generous of this uh, king to actually give us stuff, equipment. Uh, let's go to search. My ass opened the treasure chest and found 120 gold. That works. So yeah, this game has a, like, whole thing. What? You found a torch. My ass obtained a torch. <laughs> So yeah, this interface, the, um, a video I recommend if you wanted to learn more about this is Rue from the Clan of the Great Wolf's video on the making of Dragon Quest, like his whole Dragon Quest review series. Um, he talks about, uh, and he, one of the inspirations that got me to want to play this version of the game, he talks about how they had to translate a, uh, pen and paper tabletop RPG with dice and figures and everything to a simple interface that could be done on the Famicom. Because uh, at that point, RPGs uh, like uh, Wizardry and Ultima existed, but they were very complex, and they were PC RPGs. You had to have a keyboard. But if you wanted to play it on the Famicom or on a console, that didn't uh, exist. My ass obtained the magic key. All right. Let's talk to this guy. My ass, do you know about Princess Laura? <laughs> no. Princess Laura is the only beloved daughter of the king, so when the queen passed away, Princess Gwalyn helped support the king's broken heart. Then half a year ago, the princess was kidnapped by demons. The king doesn't ever speak about that, but I know he is suffering from the depths of his heart. My ass, please go for it and rescue Princess Laura. <laughs> God. When you open the treasure chest, you should find a magic key. The key will disappear after you use it once, so you can only open the door with each of those keys. Your journey will now begin. All right. When you leave the castle, you will see a town in the vicinity. You can purchase weapons and armor there. If you are wounded in battle, return to the town and stay in the inn. Your wounds will heal. Okay, so yeah, so this is one of those games where you want to talk to everybody. Can I talk to him? When the preparations for your journey are complete, come back to me. I'll be waiting, my ass. <laughs> so yeah, this is like, uh, door. Door opens the door, okay. So this is a very early RPG uh, for... This is the first JRPG, I would say. Uh, or one of the first well-known. My ass searched all around, but didn't find anything. <laughs> I meant to go talk. A record of your journey can be written in the Imperial Scrolls of Honor. When you return for a break, it can be res resumed from anywhere you left off. Okay, they're telling me about saving. If you ever want to rest from your travels, come back. The king will record your journey for you in the Imperial Scrolls of Honor. Okay, so I can't save whenever I want. I can check my status, equip. I don't have any equipment, so I gotta go get some equipment. That's my first thing. <laughs> this is Redatome. Many people would gather here since the place was paradise. Then all the demons appeared. Uh, what's this girl want? Oh, Princess Laura, where could she be? Could it be that she is dead? Oh no, what unsettling thought. My ass, please forget what I just said. <laughs> Wish there was like a run button. What the fuck is this guy doing right here? This guy's living. Oh, Princess Laura, sob. Oh, he's just crying. When you enter a cave, it's good to have a torch because caves are filled with the power of darkness. And there are more monsters in caves than out in the courts, uh, countryside. Courtside. Okay, so this is a magic dealer, I guess. When the Dragon of Darkness spreads its wings, it marks the arrival of the Senate of Roto. May the light shine upon the darkness. Oh, gods, may the light shine upon the hero of legend, my ass. <laughs> oh, I'm having too much fun with that. <laughs> oh, boy. 
Oh my god. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. There's probably so many people face bombing or just shaking their head right now. It's just like, god damn it. God damn it, Zero. Really? Again? I can't help it. It's my ass. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Go through there. So if you hear my controller clacking, it's that kind of controller. To gain experience in levels, you must fight monsters. When you do that, hero my ass, you may raise to the next level, you'll become stronger. <laughs> Alright, so they're basically telling me basic RPG stuff. This first part might be a little slow, guys, but, you know, I'm having fun. My girlfriend and I will be together until the day we die. But will the day come that my feelings will be shattered by demons? Uh, I should hope not. When I am together with my boyfriend, I forget about the darkness that continues to blanket our world. However, this that is a lie. If the world is destroying, he says that our love will be too. Oh, oops, I didn't mean to leave the castle yet. Okay, let's go back in. Castle. Let's see. Welcome to Rotom Castle. Does he say the same thing? Yeah, okay. So, I wanted to talk to these guys over here first before I go. And get those fucking chests right here. The door's locked. Ah, damn it. Okay, or can I... Item? Oh, I don't have my magic key. Oh, I must have used it already. Shit! I'm a traveling merchant. Many of my colleagues were killed by minions of the King Dragon. Because of this, I've collected mortifying with powerful memories of those times. Huh. And what's this kid want? Oh, I can't get down there. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, there we go. Did you hear? I'm shocked. Did you hear? No. Rumor has it that there is a town that was destroyed by the demons. Well then, that's no good. I need to go over to the town though and get some equipment because I'm currently under equipped. Uh, let's see. Come on. Eh. Let's go to the town. Wait, what's down there? Can I get in there? Oh no, that's just that dude. That's not a door, that's a table. Really gotta use your imagination with these games. Okay. Alright, so there we go. There's the town. I need to find a weapon shop. Here we go. Let's start with a weapon shop. This is a weapon shop. How may I help you? Buy. So you want to buy something. What would you like to buy? Um... I can't afford the copper sword. I should go for proper equipment, though. I need, like, a weapon. Pole club. So I can just, if I spend 60 on that, I'm not going to have enough for armor. That'll, but I can hold, I can get the bamboo pole. It's 10 G and then be protected for a while. I really need to get armor. So here's what I'll do. I'll buy the leather clothes. Yes. Okay. My ass equipped leather clothes. Okay, so I'm also going to buy the bamboo pole just so I have better attack for the time being. So I have a weapon. I equip the bamboo pole. <laughs> uh, no, I'm good. And I also need to get some potions or something. Like something just to heal myself. Because, okay, so there's the inn. Does the inn save your game? No, I think it's just you gotta go to the king to save your progress. Okay. Is this guy a potion shop? I think some spells that would help undo the curse. If you have a curse, come to me and I will certainly help you. Oh, okay, well, that's good to know. Okay, um... But, yeah, um... Yeah, I don't see, uh... Potion shop, so I guess what I'm going to do is... I'll just go out... And if I get low on health, I'll go to the king. Um, but before I leave, guys, I'm gonna stop the part here. So next time, on Zero Plays, Dragon Quest... Uh, for 16-bit winter, we will begin the grinding process. And what I will do is, because I'm going to try to cut it as much grinding as possible in future parts, but early on in the game, uh, there's really nothing I can do. It's either I record one part, grind for an hour, and come back and record another part, and I don't really have time for that. So you guys are going to see a little bit of grinding, but we'll see some early battles. And then what I'll do is I'll explain some of the new rules or that I've changed for 16-bit winter this year because I've added and expanded them. But in any case, guys, that's for next time. Take care, and I'll see you then.